Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Michaela Renee, all day, every day. I woke up early this morning and I was actually making some of Dr. Sabi's formulas, but I also add my own stuff into it and I actually give it to my family and my friends at a very low cost so that I can supplement my income and also just to help people because um, I love Dr. Sabi's products. They do work. The herbs do work that he uses. The only thing about it is that it's a little bit expensive. So, um, you missed the part where I um, just grind up all of the herbs. I have the burdock root, the nopal cactus, chaparral, and I'm working on the dandelion root. Um, so, I'm going to finish what I started and then I'll show you what it looks like. But it's important to have one of these masks because when you're working with grinding down these roots, um, it gets a little smoky and stuff like that. So it's cool to have this on standby. And I also use gloves because when you're making things um, for other people, especially things that they're going to ingest, it's good to use gloves. So um, what I have in this coffee grinder right here is actually the rest of the dandelion root. Um, I have broken about four or five coffee grinders when I originally started, and that is because um, these are like, you're working with pretty much tree stumps. The Vitamix, it costs six, um, anywhere between six and eight hundred dollars, but if you can afford it, get it, because it works. You can put a tree stump in the Vitamix and it'll grind it all up. Then, to make it even more fine of a powder, that's what I use. I you can see it. this is why I put a face mask on to cover up my nose because at first it was going in my throat and like, I mean, I know they're herbs and I know they're good for you, but it may not be so great to breathe this in. So use the Vitamix first and then the coffee grinder if you don't want to go through five and six coffee grinders like I did when I first started out. And what you're going to do is pretty much shake it and shake it and shake it and just get it as fine as you can. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to show you how fine the powder is and what it looks like. So I'm going to show you what we're working with and how fine this is. Again, this is the dandelion root, the nopal cactus, some burdock root, and um, chaparral. So you can see the different colors going on and you can see the fineness and it's just a powder. It's a fine powder. And what I will do is I will put the top on and give it a shake so it's all blended in nicely. Okay, so here's what our final product looks like. And again, these are many of the herbs that Dr. Sabi uses that I have grounded from the tree stumps that they originally um, were. Um, again, in the Vitamix, then to make it even more fine um, inside of the coffee grinder. And um, the herbs are expensive, but um, I guess when you buy them in bulk, you save a lot of money. And again, the reason why I started doing this is because me and a lot of people that I know, we all love Dr. Savy's products. But, I mean, I'm on a fixed income, excuse me, so they're very kind of unaffordable for me. So I started to make my own product and um, add some things based on some of the herbs that he uses and some herbs that other herbalists use. I was able to make my own formulas based on what each herb was for, whether it was for kidneys, liver, um, for intercellular repair, um, heart health, bones, whatever the case is, and that's how okay, I was so able to do this. Okay, so next step, what I do is, now that I'm finished with creating the herb, I, not create, I didn't create the herb, excuse me, grinding the herb into a fine powder, what I'm going to use is the cap and quick. I also have some vegetarian capsules that I use to put the herbs in and Use the cap and quick to cap them up. So I'll show you that step next. 
Okay, so here we have the um, formula that we discussed and I have the caps, the vegetarian capsules already in there. What I do is I just take the cap on quick card and I will put it right into the capsules and it'll basically fall in if you smooth it back and forth a little bit. Okay, and once you get them filled up pretty good, what I like to do is I use the cap them quick. It's like this little thing that goes into the capsules to press it down. So that way you can put more herbs in there because each capsules, I use the double zero capsules myself, which are just a little bit bigger than Sadie's. I think he uses the triple zeros, but as you can see, if you use this, push it down. My capsules can hold 1,000 to 1,120 milligrams. So I like to pack them as much as I can. Now my main goal um, in making these herbs for friends and families and whomever else wants any is not to really make a profit, but to help heal the nation. Um, it says in Revelations, 222 that the herbs are for the healing of the nation so I can take any part in helping that's what I'll do okay I finished capping them um, I put the caps on and now here's the fun part where you pretty much press down on the machine and here are your caps you pretty much just pour them off Okay, and right here we pretty much have all of the herbs that Sabi uses. Just um, the capsule is a little bit bigger. And um, yeah, you're ready to bottle it up, label it off, and send it to whoever you want to send it to. So you can watch that step So next. what I do is I grab a handful and I just give them a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, please let these um, herbs go to somebody who just needs healing. Heal them, Lord, in Jesus' name, for the sake of your glory, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, I ask that whoever's hands that these herbs touch, that they become blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, and here we have it. This is my anti-stroke formula based off of the herbs that Dr. Sadie uses. Here you have it, um, the final product. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a blessed day in Jesus' name.